um, just printing a couple of shirts. Don't have a lot going on today, but it's been freezing up here, but I did manage to get it warm in the shop. I didn't know if I was going to have anybody tuning in. Y'all know with my setup, I got to uh, kind of got to bring my laptop over to this side right here. So I'm going to sit my, um, let me see, I don't even know. Let me go ahead. I'm going to do this first. Oh, my bad. Go ahead and load the vinyl on here first. Then I'll do the second step. What's up, people? What's up, people? Just printing a couple of shirts today. Don't have a lot going on. But since I'm over here, what's up, Cynthia Shepard? How you doing? Up here trying not to freeze in the shop. It's been freezing cold. You know, in Louisiana, it's freezing on at 50, but it's been like in the 30s. What's up? Aviate, what is that? Aviation's my life. How you doing? <laughs> Cynthia Shepard says, okay, freezing in New Jersey. Yeah, I understand. It's freezing up here, too. Then we might get some snow on, I think, Monday. Hopefully not, though. Y'all make sure y'all hit that thumbs up button. Um, a couple of shirts. Uh, one of our football teams, well, actually, my son's football team made it also, but um, we went to All-Stars, and the other team that, it's, it was two teams that went to All-Stars, and this other team, they are actually going to Dallas because they moved on to the next level, to the next uh, round or whatever, but we got out. Aviation said, is it possible to buy an order from me? Uh, yeah, I'm doing orders for people right now. What's up, Cheryl Malone? How you doing? What's up, Rizzo Rizzolino? How you doing, Amanda? Amanda says it's cold in Georgia. I'm going to grab my... No, I got it right here. I thought I was going to have to go to the back and get it. Yeah, I don't have a lot going on today. I really wasn't planning on coming to the shop this week. I was going to take this week off, but I have been having some people um, asking me to come. And I don't have my usual setup or whatever for my camera. So right here I just got my cutter and I'm putting this photograph on a kid's shirt. A youth extra small, I think, or youth small, something like that. So I had to shrink the picture down so that it would fit. And I'm just trimming the extra off of it. Yep. And that's about it. Put my cutter back. And look, oh, y'all may not even be able to see it. How old this calendar is I have. I need to get a new desk calendar or desktop calendar, whatever you call it. All right, I'll just toss this one in the trash. Let me see. I think some people had come in it. <laughs> Amanda Hager says it's bad when you have to make a choice. Heat press or heater. Can't run both without tripping the breaker. Look, I'm just uh, lucky with this place. I have, um, it's a couple of uh, breakers that they have. Well, not breakers, but uh, I, don't, I forget what you call them. 220s or whatever you call them. Like I got one for the AC one for this side it's like two on each side of the room like if i um right now i got the heater on so i will because they plugged in the same thing i will have to turn my heater off and turn the heat press on 
for this one but if I move it over to the other side it'll work but they are plugged into the same one but um but yeah I do have my um flash dryer and my conveyor dryer plugged up at the same time and it works out for me patio says it's freezing in Chicago Upro says run the heat press uh, I got the heat press on I actually got everything in here on uh, Jason N says freezing I don't want to hear it what's up Ivan Ramos it's really freezing today Jason I mean it is cold we, we supposed to get some snow on Monday or at least that's what the weather report says Upro says it's 40 45 degrees here in Texas and that's cold for us I think we're around the same thing we're around 45 right now but that temperature does drop at night and this morning it was it was pretty cold yeah y'all probably be getting some uh some snow over there too uproar I'm hoping not but I'm thinking probably Amanda Hager says we just recovered from 14 inches um aviation is life says do you make jerseys and where do you order them um it depends yeah i do make jerseys it depends a lot of people bring their own jerseys and it kind of depends on what they want as far as where i where i get them from um uh, i'm gonna sit, have to sit the camera down or the phone down for just a minute while i bring my laptop over to this side so give me a second and i'll be right back something happened at my house the other day my computer my desktop computer finally went out yeah I know I was uh let me see if I can get everything set up I think I had well some of y'all on here the ones who have been come on really keeping up with me probably know about um, the issue I was having with it to where the operating system needed to be reinstalled but it was a computer that I built, so it finally went out. The operating system, I gotta install a new operating system now, so. M. Riley says 17 in Akron, Ohio. Now that's really freezing. Jason N says 12 degrees in North. Ugh. North Jersey, I can't get tongue tied for some reason. North Jersey, 80 in LA, 72 in San Diego. What's up, school? Um, the, the heat transfer paper that I'm using is laser one opaque and it's for laser printers. Let me see, I got two. I was debating whether or not I should make a video for this or if I should just go ahead and print it. Let me see what the properties for this is. If I should go ahead and just print it and do a live. So I was like, let me just do a live. Eight in Pomona. I like NYC and it's possible to make a Kyrie jersey. Uh, it's, it's probably possible. See, I forgot to turn the heater off. I don't know if y'all just saw that. I forgot to turn my heater off, so it did flip this switch over here. I had the heater and the heat press on. Let me just unplug it. Forgot. Go in this fuse box and turn it back on. Let me see which one it was. Yeah, it's it's possible I don't know if it's legal but it's possible I mean you can make make one but I wouldn't advise you selling them it's negative 11 there where you at CJ J. 
G Uproar says, I'm I'm is that I'm jealous? Don't be jealous. School said the same thing I said. You can make the jersey, but you can't sell it. Rocky Town Boy, what's up? How you doing? What's up, Rick Gillen? How you doing? Rocky Town Boy says, can you make a good living in a t-shirt business? Yes. Um, here's here's what uh, one of the thoughts that I had that kind of led me into the t-shirt business. Because I was actually doing video editing first by itself. But um, I got to look for my uh measuring tape so i can measure this and make sure i'm printing it the right size but um i was actually doing just video editing by itself and i was teaching at the time and um i was thinking about something else that i could do because like i'm in a small town so you know i can do video editing and i do some stuff for like churches and weddings and stuff like that but it wasn't enough for me you know i was wanting to i was wanting to be only doing you know doing working for myself or whatever so i added t-shirts and i'm no longer no longer teaching all i do is t-shirts that's all i do i mean i do video editing still but you know i'm 100 percent working for myself maybe i should have made this picture a little bit smaller but we're gonna make it work you see that's three three inches i'm gonna separate it right there but yes you can and if you one thing uh, that you can think of is how many people do you know that has t-shirts like pretty much everybody has t-shirts several school said yes if you can do the work Um, I can't make that jersey. Aviation is my life because that, I don't have the rights to make NBA jerseys. I mean, that, you know, I can't make and sell something that I don't have permission to sell. My bad. I'm trying. I'm trying to uh, zoom in. Y'all know I like to be zoomed in a little bit. I don't know. I just leave it like that. Oh well. Like to have a close up. Cynthia Shepard says, do you find a center by pressing down the middle? I find it easier than the T-squared. Yeah, but that's like an extra thing I have to do. I just, I mean, I've been using the T-squared since I started, so I kind of do that. What's up, Lee Ali? Wayne's were extreme, <laughs> extreme close-up. Yeah, I like to have it kind of close. Lee Ali says, I like you so much. You really give us hope. We can we can do good. We don't need to be company. Yeah, like if I lived in a in a uh bigger area, because we we probably have look, I would have to look it up. Is that someone outside? I need to turn my sign off because it's almost five o'clock and I'm not expecting anyone else. But um I, I cranked it up. It's uh it's cranked up. But if I turn that mug off, it will be freezing up in here. <laughs> Cynthia Shepherd said you see us better when you're close up. What's up, Daryl Way? How you doing? Let me see. Break polyline. Trying to get this um thing right so that I can cut it out uh oh yeah that should be good just in case y'all wondering what I'm working on let me flip the camera but this is uh zoom in a little bit yeah this is what I'm doing Darway says, had a great nap today. I'm feeling good. Yeah, but this right here, if I can hold the camera still. Let me hold I can't hold my breath and talk at the same time. Yeah, 
it helps to hold it still if you hold your breath. Why the, how I get this huge square right here? I don't need that. Let me save this. All right, but that's what I'm doing. I'm about to cut this out. I'm a bring this in some more so that I can save save a little bit of space or a little bit of vinyl I'm seeing space change the force I got to all right now it's taking a minute what's going on are you gonna cut is everything plugged in technical difficulties technical difficulties power off and power back on well it just it's having technical difficulties I guess so I'm having to uh, power off and power back on enter Okay, got that plugged in. Okay, maybe it'll work this time. If not, okay, it's working. Lee Ali says you don't do a lot in your Facebook so we can chat with you no I don't and look I got I had got a new phone and I just I could not even remember how to log back on to um I don't know for some reason I was having an issue logging back on to Instagram and I just was able to log log on to Instagram a couple of days ago well it was like after Christmas So, um, I can kind of chat with you on Instagram, but yeah, I was kind of locked. I locked myself out of it somehow. I didn't keep up with my password. And when I got the new phone, I had to try to remember it and log back in. I don't know. It, it's not really the password. I accidentally got a typo on my email. That's what it is. My scissors. So the email address that I used, I did a typo on it, so that was why I couldn't log in. But I finally figured it out. Still have not fixed that issue, though. I got to um, fix that because I'm sure I'll forget again and won't be able to log in again. Let me see. My bad. I, I'm usually at my weeding table when I'm weeding. And that way y'all can uh, see what I'm doing better. Look, I had a late birthday gift. Somebody bought me this, my BFF. 
bought me a pair of headphones, headsets, wireless head, headset, headphones. Don't know what I'm talking about. I had planned to take this uh this time off and not start back until after New Year's, but people was bugging me. Then one person didn't even come. Alright, that is the first cutout. Usually I would cut everything out, but I guess to waste a little bit of time, I can do it this way. Let me see. I don't know, I might do another picture because I don't like how big this is. Really with this being a V-neck, I want to separate it right there, but... Let me stick with it like this. I'm going to print another picture out because I should have made the picture slightly smaller. So I'm going to go ahead and print another picture out. I'm going to make it like half, a half sheet. I think that'll work better. Yeah, I think a half sheet will work better. Yeah, this is like a half sheet right here. So... It'll fit right here. Because this one is too big for the font or the text or whatever that I put on there. Should have made the text smaller. That's what happens when you don't measure and you're just trying to hurry up and get something done because you don't really want to be working today. I have days like that sometimes. Sometimes I'm excited about work. But... This wasn't a time that I really wanted to come come here. Wanted to take a break. See, I think I'm missing out on Yeah, I, I don't like doing transfers, but this is for a football game. I mean, I, I always tell the people, you know, when I have customers, I tell them I, I don't really like doing the transfers because it's eventually going to wash out. But you can uh, prolong the life or whatever, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and I, I don't even know, can't even think of the word to use, but you can make them last longer by not putting them in the dryer. I do have some customers that hand wash them and they get a lot of life out of them. But um, they're eventually going to wash out. What's up, Brad Lumpkin? How you doing? Brad and Ronnie here say they say they just left Louisiana no it's not Sunday ends no it's not <laughs> you know on Sundays I just come come in here and hang out what's up Barry J how you doing let me go ahead and print another picture out What's up, Gene Pickens? How you doing? 
we getting a lot of new people up in here or i'm not gonna say new because y'all might have been subscribed but a lot of people that i haven't been uh communicating with on live while i'm live I guess that's the good thing about the holidays and about um, going live at a different time because some people may not be able to make make the time that I go. Let me see. Open. Um, no Samuel's views. I'm not doing anything. I don't do much. What's up, Zaza? <laughs> Jason said, I think I just burned my bomb on the heater. You got to be careful with those heaters. What you doing with your bomb on there anyway, Jason? Don't don't answer that question. I don't even want to know. I'm not even going to get all up in your business like that. Jason is silly. Jason said it was cold. It's about 41 degrees, Jason. Or it's below freezing. Yep, I'm still at work. I was actually uh, waiting for a response from this person and they took a little bit longer than I would have liked for them to take. But I don't have have much much to do. Um, scale to fit. Yeah, I don't have a lot to do. Just um, a couple of shirts. Really wasn't wasn't worth a. Uh, Jason. Sorry about that, y'all. My sister called. Now, I called her 100 hours ago, and she's just now calling me back. Um, yes, I show what I'm working on. It's a lot easier and faster for me to just do it, but I did just show this. All I'm doing is uh, printing a photograph. Let me see. I'm just checking my settings, the printer settings right now. It's kind of the same thing I did in the, in the video I did not long ago okay and now everything is okay with it so i'm printing it out and it's telling me that my printer is low on toner but i already knew that y'all didn't even need to tell me that okay yes 100 hours ago she always wait that long now i can't zoom back out okay Okay, that got it. Sam Samuel's view said it's extremely cold in Pennsylvania.
Yes, 100 hours ago, Scoob. I keep track of stuff like that. 100 hours ago. She do that all the time. So I'm just like, is she going to break a record by doing it longer this next time? Let me see. Uh, no, it's not a jersey. It's just a t-shirt. It's just a, a t-shirt for um, this lady. Well, it's a football coach, his girlfriend, and his daughter. About to have to cut this out again. Let me see if I can uh, show it to you. So I made the picture smaller this time. Hopefully it'll be the right size. Make sure it's even. And cut these extra long ends off of it. So now we are going to try this one more time. Try this one more time. And for these small shirts, I don't usually use the T-square. I just kind of line them up. To me, it's a lot easier just to um, line them up and just make sure they're flat. And the center line, hopefully, is this V-neck right here. If it's not, then I'm just messed up. Well, that's we're going to go by that. That's what we're going to go by. I'm going to make sure I don't burn up the shirt today. Because in one of the last videos I did, I almost set a shirt on fire, I guess. I'm turning it into a crispity, crunchity t-shirt. And that's about 30 seconds, probably. Probably. Man, this is hot. Hot. I'm going to just put this to the side. And give this a little press. Sometimes I don't even press the shirts like this. But I haven't really had any issues. Like pre-pressing them. They recommend that you pre-press them, but I don't, I don't always do it. All right, this next shirt, I'm gonna use black vinyl. Make sure y'all can see what I'm doing. Can't hardly see what I'm doing myself.
Okay, and this next thing, I'm just going to um, me zoom in slightly. I'm just going to take this. When I don't have that much to do, I do this sometimes. Let me try to make it where it's still. Let me see how big this is. Seven. Should be fine. And just hit cutting. And it sends everything over to the cutter. And the cutter is cutting it out. good at zooming on this thing for some reason. Maybe because I'm used to Scoob said it was toasty not burnt. Hey everybody make sure y'all hit the thumbs up button because I will be doing another giveaway. Well I'll be doing a giveaway every month like a small giveaway and once I reach 10,000 subscribers I will be doing another bigger giveaway hopefully I can give away a a whole setup for somebody this time maybe I can do the whole screen print setup or the whole um, vinyl setup so if y'all hit that thumbs up button it'll help more people find me and let me see I don't know if I'm even on here or not My bad. I'm trying to adjust the camera so y'all can see what I'm doing. But I'm in front of it. I don't know. I didn't really like how this shirt is right here. I felt like it's, it's got kind of a lot of stuff on it for the front. Now if you was just doing the back, let me switch this camera around. If you was doing like if I was doing a front and a back print, I feel like it would be okay. But with this, uh, I don't know, with the design, I'm forgetting I got a weed. I thought I had self-weeding paper or something. Let me get over here. But yeah, I feel like the design, I don't know. Sometimes people ask for stuff, but that's what she asked for. Everything's been paid for. And I sent her the sample so that she would know exactly what it looked like. So, she approved of it, so that's what I'm going with. Sometimes people want stuff that I don't like or that I wouldn't wear myself. Different strokes for different folks. Uh-oh, don't peel off. Do not. I repeat. Sometimes, especially when it's cold, I have to be careful with this uh, vinyl that does not have a sticky backing, this Stahl's Econo print, because sometimes it wants to, to peel off.
taking off that extra that's trying to stick on there. Everybody quiet today. I must have caught y'all on lunch break. Everybody eating? No, nobody really talking. Zaza says, "How much do I charge for five heat transfers? Eleven length, eight width." Oh, Rudy said, "Watching." Um. Like, you're talking about like print. Okay, like if I, with this shirt right here, I'm going to go ahead and, um, this is the, the other shirt. I'm going to go ahead and peel this. Right here. But a shirt like this, it's got, this is one print and this is another print. So if you just got the photograph on there, then I would just charge the you know just a regular price um fifteen dollars and then if you if you got this on here it'll be twenty so because that's two prints but my prices are actually going up uh for the new year and this is just a youth shirt and actually this shirt usually will cost more but because i know the person and this shirt this was the only one that i had in the right size because the baby was like a 4T and this was like the smallest shirt that I had in the right color. So I kind of, you know, I'm not going to charge you when all you wanted was a regular t-shirt, you know. So I just charged $15 for that. Let me see. Y'all want to see what I'm doing or y'all just want to see me while I'm doing what I'm doing? Yeah, I just redid my um uh, um the new prices are five dollars more, and actually I got my price my price sheet like um if you order, cause I don't know it by heart, but um if you order one to nine, they'll be twenty dollars each. But if you order ten ten to twenty four, they'll be fifteen dollars each. So you know trying to promote people to order more of the with the same design on it so that's like you know just with one color but like depending on um depending on how many prints you get on there the price may may increase let me go ahead and get this mutant t square that i got Still have not fixed the other one. Look, I'm going to put y'all where I usually have the camera posted up here. I'm going to put y'all up there like I do in my videos. Let me see if I can get y'all lined up right. Yeah, I think that's a, a better view maybe. So y'all won't have to look at it upside down. Or maybe not. Joe's Simple Creation. What's up, Joe's? I'm about to purchase a vinyl cutter, 5-in-1 heat press printer, vinyl t-shirt transfer startup kit. Okay, what's the question? should be about center and I don't like how this T square it is because of the way it's made like the other one I could slide this beneath under here but on this one I can't like right here how I can slide it towards the end I I don't know I don't like that
And I don't like how low this picture is down. This is why I was saying I don't really like this uh does not how this the person wanted this. But different people like different things. I don't need to drop another T square. Not even if it's mutant. I know this is hanging off, but I'm gonna press it to make sure that it's in the right spot. And this got like a little dot or something on here. And this one is all wrinkled up. What's wrong with all my papers? We're gonna use this one. Press this for a few seconds just to get it where I need it to stick. Stick it where I need it. What's up, Full Rusher? How you doing? Um, I don't know exactly what you're getting. Um, I would um the I guess what what I what I would tell you, Joe's, is with me, I got this this is a Hicks. Swingman 15 by 15 heat press. When I first started out, you know, I got that because they was like, that's the, the least that they would recommend most of the people that I was uh, looking up information on. So when they told me that, you know, I wasn't sure 100% if the t-shirt thing was going to work out. I just kind of, you know, wanted it to and hoped that it would. So let me go ahead and do this right quick. Then I'm going to answer you. So, I, you know, I got the, I wanted to get a name brand heat press. I, I wish I would have went with the 16 by 20, but because of my budget, I, you know, I kind of stayed below a certain amount and I bought this one instead of getting a 16 by 20 but this one I mean this one pretty much does everything that I needed to do I mean it's always good just like now as you see I'm uh I'm printing this design and you see it's too big to fit on here you know but you can it's possible to do it you can do it it just would be easier if I had a bigger press because all of this would probably fit on there but then then again it may not because this is let me see this is already at 17 inches and I still got this bottom part right here to put on there. So um, if, if you have an unlimited budget, I would say go with a 16 by 20 press, go with a rolling vinyl cutter. And, and I say rolling because that's the ones that I have experience with and I've had good experiences with it and have not had not even one problem. And I have two different rolling cutters. So, um, and I don't know anything about that five and one heat press. I mean, it, it may be the one on Amazon that I saw. I mean, if that's all that, and I guess the other thing would be if you just trying to start out, just get whatever you can get, you know, and, um, and get started. And as you make money, you know, put that towards a new press. That's, that's what I would say in that situation. Cause everybody's not going to be able to start out like when I first started out, I had the 15 by 15 rolling. And as you see in uh, earlier, I was cutting out with the 24 inch rolling. So I wasn't able to get that when I first started out. And then I, I'm kind of cheap. So I didn't want to spend that much money on it. So I found a used one and bought that one. So, you know, um, that I guess hopefully that kind of helps you. Scoob said, I would not get a heat press that does more than one thing. If it malfunctions like they do, none of your press features will work full rusher says i'm good out there struggling school says struggle keeps you strong uh, full says i think i'm an overdose on this struggle don't od don't od <laughs> yeah that's what i would recommend get get the best uh, heat press that you can afford to get that's why I, I ended up getting a name brand but I went with the 15 with the 15 inch 
and I kind of wish I would have went kind of wish I would have went with the 16 inch but I mean it's possible I, I've been doing this been had this press been actually open in this location going on nine years so it can be done look I'm having as I'm saying that I'm having an issue trying to get this right here there that'll work but yeah it can be done as you see it's just a little extra work that you have to do sometimes full russia says my heat press is a 15 by 15 i wish i had the room for a swing away, uh, swing away press now they do have the draw press presses draw drawer like i can't even talk today but you see how like i'm pulling out this drawer below below that they have the drawer press presses can't even talk. I don't know what's wrong. But um, that's another option so that you won't, like if you have just the, the clamshell and it's just lifted up here and all the heat is right here in your face, you know, you could, uh, uh, Heat Press Nation actually had one and I don't know if they still have those sales going on. I got a double press up here because I didn't press it long enough just to make sure that it, it adheres correctly. Cynthia Shepard said, it's time for Dr. Phil talk. <laughs> Just kidding. Look, y'all want me to tell y'all about some more of my dating dating issues? I can tell y'all if y'all want to. What's up, Gerald Lamar? Hey, I'm trying to start my own company. Is the UDU printer good? I would not recommend the UDU printer for a uh, starting a business. I mean, you could you could kind of learn a little bit with the UDU. And the UDU has been discontinued, so unless you find a used one, you may not be able to find one, but um, if you do get a you do, you can use it for an exposure unit. They make pretty good exposure units. Um, that was uh, what I used to use before I upgraded. I'm kind of locking up everything, shutting down everything. Look, let me show y'all. I don't know if Sandra is on here, but look, I'm going to show y'all my little setup. Look at that. When you first walk in the door, you come in and then boom, right there. You see my lamp that Sandra sent me that matches with my green background that I have over here. And it also matches my green tape measure. I didn't even think about that. My green tape measure. And you can't see it right now, but my green phone case. So yeah, Sandra really hooked me up with that, with that lamp. Let me see. Oh, Full Russia says, I love the draw, drawer one too, but one day, because my 15 by 15 is good enough, I'm just, y'all, and the clam height is not that open, LOL. Well, I never dealt with a clamshell press, my bad, but I do know that, you know, it's open enough for the heat to be in your face. What's up, Gina B? How you doing? Um, I and I do have a video about the you do, um, Gerald Lamar, that you could check out for more information of what I think about the you do, and um, um, what I had. What I started out with, I do. I have a video that shows what I started out with too. It's called screen screen printing equipment for beginners. And um, uh, let's see. And this is this is the second shirt right here. Let me get them bagged up, and she's gonna pick them up for me later. 
um the one that i started out with in the video was a table clamp on press um it's a video called screen printing equipment for Be for beginners and i um got something on this shirt but i um i started out with the one color table clamp on press because screen printing equipment was kind of expensive to me and I didn't know if I was gonna know how to do it because when I, you know when you're looking up the information about screen printing it looks a bit complicated and you know you, it's like a process that you have to learn it's whole it's totally different than vinyl than print with vinyl so so with that you know I wanted to make sure that it was something that I was gonna stick with before I actually you know start putting a lot of money into it and like uh the press the first press that I got was the one color table clamp on press and then from there I moved to the the round net four color press one station and you know just kind of moved up a little bit so something like that it's a it's a company called nevertheless screen printing .com. they offer some some pretty reasonably priced starter equipment and you can also look on like eBay and stuff like that they they also sell some stuff on eBay and you may it may be a little bit cheaper than buying it from their website and that they also offer free shipping and handling unless something has changed you know uh, Ryanet was having a little holiday deal where they was offering free shipping and handling for equipment I think but you know that's like that was like a temporary thing but nevertheless you know their thing was the, all of their equipment shipped free so that's who I would recommend you check out if you're just looking for like some beginner equipment but if you're looking for something major you know I would uh, maybe look somewhere else because that you know theirs are just really for beginners it's not really the uh, I guess professional grade I mean Ryanet has some some that they say is professional grade but I never dealt with with you know with any of their presses other than a silver press which is basically the Riley Hops, Hopkins press the Riley Hopkins Jr. but they painted it and that's really the only difference I see in it they painted it and stuck that Riley Hopkins name on it so they could charge more for it Cynthia Shepard said let's stick to printing you will have me rolling yeah it's, it's some some craziness done went on I'm sorry let me speak properly some craziness has went on so has happened full Russia says Gerald Lamar on on Amazon you can get a one color screen printing press for under two hundred dollars I wish I had saw this when I started cuz using transfers and vinyl is time-consuming yeah you could the one that I got from eBay was actually under a hundred dollars it's like ninety eight dollars or ninety eight ninety nine something somewhere off in there ninety five ninety nine Scoob says, I don't feel right coming on this topic. I bought everything I needed at one time when I decided to get it. Well, Scoob, everybody ain't big balling like you. Scoob, Scoob big balling. She she the big baller we got on here. So, yeah, I had to start out little by little. And I, I feel like that's why some people can relate to me. Because, I you know, if, if you see where I started from, I don't have a whole bunch of money you know I just kind of as I go upgrade save up and upgrade and stuff like that or it's income tax time coming up you know that's a good time you can use that money to to buy something that's gonna bring more money instead of buying something you know that and your money is gone you know buy you something where you can get get a return out of it a four color is good and to be honest with you when I got the one color press I got that because I was having a hard time keeping up with the orders with the um with the vinyl. You know, I would get a get an order of like 50 shirts at the time. At that time, 50 shirts was a lot of shirts to me. And when I would get an order like that, doing it with the vinyl way was very time consuming and stressful and a whole bunch of other things. So I was looking for a way that I could do the same thing, but with less effort. And that's when I found out about screen printing. And I got the one color press and I learned pretty much everything, the technique and everything with the one color press. And then I was eventually able to move up to the four color press. But I kind of, I grew that one color press quickly because I was like, you know, I, I want to be able to do more colors. And then with that one color press, 
it, when I have an order that's a front and a back print, I have to take that screen down and then put it back up. If you have a four color press, if you have a one, two one color designs can go on there and you still got spaces. So you can work on more than one order at a time. So say that you do some shirts and the people want to come back and get some more shirts, but you got other orders to work on. You know, it's, um, I, I have that happen a lot for like, um, RIP shirts, especially like, you know, you print the shirts and then they have other people that come in town and they'll see their shirt and want the shirt, you know, but then I might be working on something else. But when you have more print heads, you don't have to um, take it down. All right, Gerald Lamar, I appreciate you uh, support your support and your subscribing to my channel. Gerald Lamar said, "I'm scared. I will not do too good at this and want to try to put designs on shirts." And yeah, I seen it. Um, I mean, it's like with anything, you can't be scared. You know, don't be scared. You can't be scared to make money. You know, you um. With anything that you have never done before, it's a it's a learning curve. So, um, just do you some research and save up your money, or you know, income tax time is coming up. That's a good. I feel like that's a good investment. Buy something where you'll make your income tax money back. You know, by the time you buy it, and then the summer roll around, you you'll probably be done made that money back before August. Barry J says I got a four color one station press, works good from Ryan it. Full Russia says, Gerald Lamar, but to start single is great, too. And Full Russia also says, welcome to the sprint, the sprint, the print squad, Gerald Lamar. Gina B says, I'm all right. Was printing a bit then. God says, stop. The power went out. Man, that sound like, like us. The power go out a lot. Well, on part of the part where I live at, it goes out a lot. You welcome, Gerald Lamar. Barry J says I got a Graph Tech CE six thousand dash sixty and stand for fifteen hundred. Scoob says, don't be afraid. That will only lead, Gerald Lamar, don't, Gerald, don't be afraid. That will only lead you to never trying anything. Failure is nothing to be ashamed of. Never trying is. I'm trying to think, uh, it's some people that's like billionaires now that the first things they did, more than one business that they have done. And I can't, I watched a, a documentary video about it. This has been a while ago. So right now I can't think of who it is, but you know, the first thing that you do is not going to always do it. That's just like with me, like with video editing. People love my videos. And I, you know, I, I produce a, um, I was producing a, it's like a big block party that we had every year. And before I even had time to edit, I was getting so many phone calls and questions and everything about that. You know, as long as I'm selling stuff that way where they having to pay individually. But a lot of people don't, didn't want to pay, you know, for me to come and film things for them. Cause they was wanting to be cheap and stuff like that and some of them maybe just didn't have the money or whatever but yeah so that was why i ended up adding t-shirts to it but you you know you gotta stick with stuff do your research learn as much as you can about it and never stop learning even when you do get it full russia says i'm only one year in and sometimes i get scared and it prevents me I wonder if I put it on airplane mode, if I can still do Wi-Fi. Gerald Lamar says a $129.79 for a four-color screen printer press machine. I feel like that's a good deal. Yeah, that's probably a pretty good deal. And um, one thing to look at when you are buying those multicolor, if you're planning on doing like printing with uh, multicolor printing or whatever. Let me see if I can show it to you. I know it was, it was on my other thing uh all of this is booked up but like some of them like some of the uh let me try to see let me just i don't want to fool with none of this stuff right now but basically when you when the part where you stick your screen at like 
let me try to show you like actually I can show you like right here you see this part you stick your screen in in that thing and right here you see how this one has a bar going across right here some of them have like just this part with like a little round thing at the bottom of it which attaches to your screen and that if you have and if you have that kind come on camera and flip if you have that kind it's uh you know it it will move easier than if you have the bar going across there so that's really something that you know i would try to get one that has that bar going across there instead of the two individual parts on there yeah because that first press that i got it had the things like that i mean it's usable it it'll work okay but you know i just feel like it's better to get that bar going across there Gina, Gina B says, I started with a one color, then a couple of months later got the four color. I felt like I was wasting, I feel like I wasted money on the one color. I, I agree with that, you know, but sometimes, you know, if, if you would have got, it's a lot of people that buy screen printing equipment and they don't go on with it. They either find that it's too hard or whatever. Just like that you do. A guy had bought that you do. He never even made one t-shirt with it. He did, he bought it and then he was like he never uh he never made one t-shirt with it because it, it seemed too complicated for him and he just never even tried. Let me see, I have missed a whole bunch of uh You see, I'm sorry. I missed a whole bunch of stuff when somebody called me a minute ago. Huh. They didn't want to call me earlier. Let me see. All right, um, Joe Simple Creations. You can go on to... Uh, nevertheless screen printing you can you can actually get a floor model press they have let me see let me see it's gonna take me a minute to bring my thing around here but you can actually go on there and get the floor model a floor model press like a four color i think a four station press let me see hopefully my battery won't run down and i don't have any affiliation with nevertheless but i just uh when i look on there and i look on ryanette they offer similar things to ryanette but um let me see but at a cheaper price and then they have free shipping and handling and i don't know how riding that shipping is nowadays because i haven't shipped anything with them in a while i'm just uh closing out let me see yeah i haven't shipped anything with them in a while but uh Dang it, it's gonna make me name it. I'll just name it that. Whatever letters I just typed. I know where to find it at. Okay, let me see. See if I can set my stuff up on here. can't even type but right here um, this is their website and let me see they probably have some deals or something going on right here you can get a starter kit or you can get just presses and right here let me see uh, I'm just gonna click on one of these. Okay, so right here for $8.99, you can get this press right here. I don't know if you can really see it, but it's a floor model press. And they also have kits. So you may be able to go on there and find a kit. And I'm not gonna um, go through everything on there. Oh, I'm, I just flipped the camera again. Okay, but yeah, 
you can uh, with that amount of money you can probably go on there and get you a whole set up um let me see that you can get like a whole starter set up with that probably and you'll have to go on there and look kind of look on your own and maybe even call them if you need more information or, or details about it Bear J says I started off with a silhouette cameo 3 what's up Terrence crew how you doing Charles Ezenek says, I got a four color one station press off eBay. I like it, but does have it does have a limit. How you doing, Charles? Um, you welcome, Gerald Lamar. Um, a one a one color that it, a one screen one station. Yeah, that's like a one station one color, or a one slash one printer. Sometimes people say it as one slash one like the one that I have uh, it has four it had you can put four different four six different screens on it and it has four different stations so my that one would be a six to four six slash four so it'll be a six color four station is that somebody outside yeah Imagination Apparel says Digismith has used screen printing equipment. What's up, uh, Imagination Apparel? Gerald Lamar says, I just want one where I can transfer and print now. Um, you may be wanting this then. I'm not sure. Like, if you're just starting, I always recommend to people, this is a heat press right here. And did I turn it off? Nope. This is an old dusty heat press right here. And um and I use my vinyl cutter over here to cut out the letters and the designs and the pictures, like whatever I'm uh printing onto the shirt. I can cut out letters, I can cut out pictures, I can't cut out like full color pictures. And right here I use the vinyl over here. This is like the different colors of vinyl that I have in stock right now and some some vinyl over there. But um but pretty much come on flip camera my camera won't flip I don't know what's going on I don't know but yeah um, that's what I always recommend and I do have a video about that too but if you first starting out cuz screen printing is really when you start getting a lot of you know bigger orders of the same um, the same exact print because it would kind of be pointless to like if you get an order of 10 shirts and you and they're all different um scoop says oh i'm let me finish answering if you get if you get an order of 10 shirts but each one of the shirts is different it kind of defeats the purpose of making a screen it will be easier to do it using vinyl Scoob says, Sin, have you ever thought about doing full color process on the shirts instead of transfers? Yes, I have thought about it, Scoob. But then here, the, the other issue is the, um, like, full color process would cost more than the transfers. So, um, I don't know if people would be willing to pay the extra for their picture not to wash off of their shirt. Maybe they would. I don't know. A lot of people that I deal with are cheap people that don't really want to uh, spend too much money. But um, th the thing is learning that. That's something that I want to get into while while it's downtime and stuff. I, I do plan on working on some stuff like that. Do you do any four color process in school? Full Russia says 50 shirts is a lot with transfers and vinyl. Because I recently had eight shirts on an order and it almost killed me. I, I'm telling you, that vinyl ain't no joke when it's a lot of shirts. Gina B said, Girl, I would get a four color practice with just for now. Then, when you feel comfortable, try another color. Let me see. 
Gina B said they having st some storms there. Let me see. Gerald Lamar says, now lastly, would the four color allow me to transfer designs on a shirt, like transparent sheets or so? No, I'm I'm thinking you are thinking about something else. Uh, like, I mean, if you if you know how to print transfers, you can print transfers using a screen printing press. On here, we have Jason Enns, who he do a lot of that. But um, as far as uh, being, I don't, um, I'm not 100% sure if, if I'm on the same page with you, but no, you cannot, um, print like transparent sheets that I know of. Barry J says, yeah, research is very important. All right. My sister said they are back. Dang it, I thought I was going to have me some free time to myself. My sister is in town from Washington. She had my youngest son. My oldest son is off on a basketball game, and I'm still down here at the shop. I thought I was going to have some free time to myself. Um, G Gerald Lamar says, I love your shirts. How much are they? And I heard that you should never stock too much when when you're first starting is that true um i wouldn't like when i first started i i used to order because i you know i i don't know when i kind of when i got this shop i just kind of got it before i actually had the business to afford the shop but when i got this shop i didn't have a lot of stock in here like um i don't have like if you look at my stuff now i don't have a whole lot of stock as you see, it's not, you know, it's not a lot because I used to keep, have these things like packed, filled all the way up to the top, like all the way across. They was filled all the way up to the top. And then I keep like white shirts and like special shirts in here and like hoodies in that box or sometimes a bigger box. And right here, you know, I, a lot of times, like especially this would be my popular colors. These will always be like full to the top, like the shirts would be kind of like how this is on this side but it would be stacked all the way up to the top all the way across but um you just kind of got to know what um what you're going to be doing or how much you're going to be printing because if you are just starting off you may not need that many shirts you know the way i used to do is when i get an order i would order shirts and then okay say i had an order for 100 shirts i would order like maybe 105 or 110 shirts you know a few extra shirts and like i try to keep certain colors in stock keep a few in each size like when i first started off but like now i pretty much know what my popular colors are and the way you can know what your popular colors are you got your red black blue you know some people like white shirts i don't get a lot of white shirt orders but um and hot pink is or fuchsia not fuchsia uh what do you call it this pink right here, I can't think of what it's called. It's the one by Gildan. Heliconia. Yeah, Heliconia. And um, that those are my popular colors. And the gray, you know, I, I do pretty good with the gray shirts also. But in the beginning, I just used to order what I needed. Like when somebody came in, I, I didn't really have a lot of shirts in the store. Like if somebody came in and wanted a, a few shirts. You know, I might have had the ones in my popular colors. But I didn't really have like a whole bunch. Drug, uh oh. I forget about this battery. Let me plug this phone in right quick because it's telling me my battery low. Give me a sec. All right. That should be good. Okay, so Full Russia says I always stock based on the order in the beginning because I wasted a lot of money. Um, let me see. And Scoob said if you're selling many of a certain color, then you can keep a few of those sizes around. 
but if you have a supplier that delivers next day then i would not and yes yeah, so, and you know sometimes it's good to have a few in in stock because you will have your people that come in and and want like want like one or two shirts you know some people some companies don't print unless you order at least like 12 shirts or something like that but like if you um you know like with the popular colors like black black is like probably my most popular shirt so i try to always keep black in every size all the way up to it used to be 6x but now i try to keep them up to 5x but a lot of the uh a lot of this i don't know it's been kind of hard to find 6x's in gildens lately Barry J says, I have no room for stock. I'm using my garage. You can get some of those containers. Um, if you, you know, if you just want to keep some Barry J, like the, I can't really show you. Well, let me see if I can show you. Uh, like those plastic containers over there, the one that I said I keep my white shirts in. Like the one, let me see if I can do like Casey Neistat and point. I probably can't. Can't do it. Let me see. Now I'm trying to zoom out like I'm hiding or something. Like the ones that's like right there, that big container right there, that's the ones you can um store some in something like that. Can you flip? Flip. Flip. Dang it. I'm I'm just having I'm having issues with this thing, just trying to flip it. I don't know what's going on. But yeah. The main thing, uh, Charles Ezenek says, the main thing is just start out small. Don't think you're going to advance screen, to screen printing right off the bat. Gina, oh. Let me see. What's up, Barbara Nelson? How you doing? It's freezing down here, Barbara Nelson. It's in the 40s. And I told you 50 was freezing, and we, we below freezing right now, being in the 40s. What's up, Lakeith? Lakeith Ingersoll. Um, I have a video on the equipment that I would recommend starting out. If you, you know, if you just starting out, uh, and it kind of depends. I uh, starting out, I would recommend um, starting out with a vinyl cutter and a and a heat press. Cause like screen print is really for like the bigger orders. But if you start out with screen printing, I was I recommend starting out with uh, like a one to four, a four to one color press. Uh, yes, you would need a vinyl cutter and a heat press, and a lot of people on here use the Cameo, and um, you, I mean, I the, I have a video where I'm talking about the two hundred dollar heat presses, like the made in China presses, if that's all you can afford. But as you heard earlier, if you was on here earlier when I told you about my my heat press, and this uh, live is getting long, I'm gonna have to get off here because people probably not gonna want to sit down for two hours and watch it, and I want people to watch it. But um, but yeah, maybe I can come back tomorrow and do another one. Gerald Lamar says, I found a heat press for $99. If you get that $99 heat press, if I, if you could, I would get like warranty or something, you know, some coverage on it just in case you have issues with it. And if not, then I would, um, as soon as I could save up and get a, get another one, get a better one. Barry J says the vinyl is what led me to screen printing. The weeding is a pain. That's the same thing that led me. I'm telling you. That is a job in itself. Gina B says, okay, guys, so I bought a Cameo 3. Next step is a heat press. Keep you updated, and I'm going to need help when I get it. All right, Gina B, we'll be here for you. A 
Imagination Apparel says, I recommend purchasing used quality equipment such as Workhorse or M&R. You can earn the most hour, hourly print in one color designs versus multicolor. Gina B says, still researching, but def def yeah. definitely not a clamshell. Um, he Press Nation was having a little sale, uh, Gina B. I don't know if you're interested in the Heat Press Nation presses. And I, I have never dealt with Heat Press Nation. I'm just, you know, just uh, thinking that they are probably better than those made in China presses. Full Russia says, what type of business do you think I should call up for a printing job when co when cold well um right now you know they got the football stuff going on they got uh if you i don't know if you can get in good with a college or uh even some of the nfl teams you know now it's like football time um i don't know you maybe i don't i don't really know maybe some something dealing with sports i would say because you know they have the hoodies and different things like that Um, I started with heat pressing, and I would recommend starting with heat pressing. And the reason I say that is because, like, when I first started, I wasn't getting big orders. I wasn't getting orders of 25 shirts even. Most of the people that was ordering was ordering a few shirts. Other than that daycare that I was doing the shirts for, most of the people would want, like, one or two shirts. So if you, if you get an order of one or two shirts, and then a lot of the people wanted something different on the shirt so if you get in the orders like that and you um making a screen for each one of those orders then that's a, you know that's a lot of extra work that i don't feel like it's worth it oh i'm sorry that was for uh school my bad school says i love and do both so i cannot give you an opinion Full Russia says here in New Jersey, I always get orders for black shirts and hoodies, never any other color. Yeah, black is my most popular color. And like most of the uh, the other orders that I get for the other colors are because they're school colors and stuff like that. And, you know, the ladies like pink and then you have the breast cancer awareness that's pink and stuff like that. And then like the gray is kind of a neutral color. Like a lot of people wasn't really up on that gray, but I was trying to explain to them the gray was the new black you know and and then when they see the shirts printed in gray a lot of them would you know would like them or come in about them and want the gray um what's up daniel doherty i have never dealt with alibaba and aliexpress i mean i think they have some decent prices when you look on there but i have never actually dealt with them and i don't know if it's anybody one on here they have Um, Lakeith says, I have, have a heat press, but don't know my next move. Should I do vinyl with the vinyl cutter or the other transfers? Um, I would say both or all three, cause you got heat press transfers and you got your, uh, uh, inkjet and laser printed transfers. Alibaba is a website that you can order like stuff from overseas like it they sell clothing they sell like different things full russia says the same thing i said i say use both vinyl and heat transfers because they give you more versatility but for max versatility i say look into screen printing let me see what's up river swamp boat how you doing Uh, no, I am in Louisiana. Uh, you say I talk like I'm from Georgia. No, I'm in the South, though. Charles Ezenek says, Gerald, I would get, I would go with the heat press, but that's if there's not many people with the heat press in your area. 
excuse me, where I'm at, everyone has one. All right, uh, Charles, got to go check on his horse again. All right. Seal says it's 20 degrees here. Yesterday it was 18 and Sunday and Monday it will be 13 and 12 degrees. I wish it was 40 here, man. And look, my sister is up in, um, she's living in Washington State now, but she said it's colder down here than it is up there, but the temperature is lower up there. Now, when you're in the south, it's like a, a, a cold wet or something because of the humidity, I guess. I don't know exactly, but it I, I feel like it feels colder here. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just thinking that it's a mental thing. All right. And I'm trying to get through the rest of these comments because I got behind. Charlie Mac says, I made some lovely sublimated door mats for Christmas. The big seller is Demetria Blankets. Let me see. Um, I use both. Um, I, Look, my battery was low. Let me see what it's on now. Because I got this little quick charging thing. Let me see if it's... uh, It's on 16%. I can't get it off of here. But um, I, use, I like the uh, charcoal gray shirts. Like, a lot of people like the charcoal gray and the sports gray also. So, uh, you know, pretty much any of the grays. Oh, uh, let me see. I think I'm missing some stuff. Um, Johnny Two Gun said, what printer do I use? Y'all make sure y'all hit that thumbs up button to help my channel out. But, um, the printer that I use, I have... Uh, the the I'm gonna name all the printers that I have. Um, I have. Give me a sec, cause I don't know the names of all of them. But I do have a video on all the printers that I have. It's called Printers for Screen Printers. Um. All right. The printers that I have that are inkjet printers. I have the HP Design Jet 120. I got the HP Office Pro K8600. I got the Sam, well that's a laser printer. And I have the Canon MG8220 Pixima. That's all of the printers that I have that are inkjet printers. What's up Dion Clothing? R will be in New Orleans tomorrow. Can you come down to New Orleans? I'm taking you to dinner. You know what? I probably could. I got a sister that lives down there. I don't know. I got a... Uh, I don't know. I'm probably not going to make it down there tomorrow. You should have gave me a little bit more heads up and I might would have been able to make it. <laughs> My son is said of texting me. He they back in town. Am I going to pick him up? Gina B says, "Imagination, what press you got? There's no way I can do 85 an hour on my four color one station press, but I cure with my flash dryer. I'm lucky if I can do 20 an hour." Charlie Max says, "Where is Old Orleans?" How you doing, Donald Johnson? It's a lot of new people on here. I hate to get off. And my son texted me. I can't respond back. I should have uh, live streamed on my uh, laptop, but I thought it would be easier to move around with, with my phone. So, what's up, Bridget? Yeah, Bridget. You know who I'm talking about. Bridget Ganios. How you doing? James Karma says, quit whining. Seven degrees, one to one, one hundred and twenty-first tonight. One to one hundred and twenty-first tonight. 
Look, I'm from Louisiana. That that's cold. We we like the hot weather down here. All right, let me see. <laughs> I'm not even gonna read your your comment, Gina B. <laughs> um, Lakeith Ingersoll says, "Where do I go to get transfers made?" Jason Ends, Ends, where are you? You ha you got somebody inquiring about getting transfers made? Are you still on here? Scoop say I did some house slippers, baby onesies, necklaces, socks, key fobs, etc. Oh, that was a negative eleven degrees. That is that's even worse, James. That's even worse. Where are you located at, James? Let me see. You said it up here. Let me go back. Where Where are you located at, James? I don't think you said it. Sia says, "Hi, seven degrees, and it's not even January. God help us. I'm. I. I have to pray for y'all to have warmer weather." But then y'all probably be mad because the summer come early. I'm going to have to pray for us to have warmer weather too. All right. Man, I'm behind. Okay. Finally caught up. Finally caught up. All right. Let me... I got to get my... um. I turned off everything so it's starting to get cold in here. Let me clean up this mess I got over here and I'm going to get ready to get up out of here. My, my G.I. Joe camera bag. laptop right quick and while I'm putting it up I'll um, get ready to get off of here in a minute Jason Inns, Lakeith Ingersoll, Jason Inns on here. I, he must have got off. But he, um, Inns Print Co., I think is the name of his business. And you may be able to find him on Instagram, Inns Print Co., E N Z Print Co. But that's a person that does transfers that we have on here. No, this is not social media. This is YouTube. YouTube is like, I feel like productive. Like Facebook and all these other things. You know, on YouTube, you can learn how to do anything. That's how I learned how to print t-shirts here on YouTube. YouTube and Google. I feel like if, uh, if it's something that can help you. If it's something that can help you learn, it's not really social media. I mean, you people can use YouTube in a way where it's not helpful to them. But, you know, I feel like um, going on YouTube, like when I don't know how to do something or if I'm getting ready to buy something, 
I always go to YouTube. Like if um, I hadn't been too long, a few months ago, bought a new camera. What's up, lipstick on my teeth? Um, uh, not long ago, I bought a uh, a new camera. So I was wanting to get a mirrorless camera, a smaller camera, because the one that I was using was the uh, Canon T5i, and I was kind of wanting to do some some vlogging and stuff. So I went on there and I looked it up. And, you know, it had pretty good reviews. And people was, you know, talking about it and showing how they did the mic fix. Because, like, the mic on that camera, the mic, uh, the thing where you put the mic, it blocks the screen. You know, so I just kind of went on there and researched. And I feel like I found a better way to use the camera, a better mic for the camera than all the people that I had been watching did. Because I was doing that research. So, you know, y'all... Um, I don't feel like YouTube is a social network. I feel like it's more of a helpful tool. And it's also entertainment too. Sia says, YouTube helped me learn how to do a cat eye. Bear J says, later everybody have a most prosperous coming year. Full Russia says bye guys. Yep. All right, Gina B. See you next time. All right, I might come back on here and do a live tomorrow, maybe around the same time. If it's not, if I'm not froze over by then. Got all these extra wires. James says, you do your wine shirt Nike. Um, I'm not sure what you're saying. But no, I didn't print this shirt, if that's what you're asking. This is an old shirt. Like, mostly when I come over here, I'm wearing, like, old, old clothes. I don't really wear my good clothes here, which I'm not really doing too much today. But, um, I have messed up clothes and stuff, so... Mostly when I come over here, I'm wearing like old clothes or stuff that I don't care about getting messed up. If it just have, I mean, I don't want it to get messed up, but you know, it's not a big deal if it does. All right, Gina B. Gina B got the power. Sia says, do a new you. <laughs> Why I can't talk today? Why can I not talk today? Game Bro says, do you sell your shirts? I sell print squad shirts. You can, uh, it should be a, well, I don't know if this is on my phone, but usually it's a link below my videos when I do live streams that tell you how to get the print squad shirts. They're actually on tshirtchicktv.com and I sell those. James, James Kramer says bootleg Nike. Um, let me see. This is actually like a really, a really old shirt. And I don't know if you can see it on here, but it, it's got the Nike tag. If it's bootleg, they bootleg me. But it's a, it's an old shirt. It's not a good shirt. It's, I mean, if I don't know if you can see, but the sleeves right here, you can kind of see it's wearing out. Yeah, I don't, uh, can't zoom out. But I don't think it's bootleg. I mean, it could be. No, I don't have a clothing line. I, I just sell the print squad shirts for 
you know, all, all the people that's in the print squad, which includes, you know, my subscribers on here and people that tune in and come in and everything, you know, helping each other out. We kind of like a community, a t-shirt community, the print squad. Yep, I got a hundred bags to carry out. Yep, this is my t-shirt shop. My hair looking crazy. Why y'all didn't why y'all didn't tell me my hair was looking crazy like this? Yep, I'm still here, Cynthia. It's you know it's it's hard for me to say goodbye. It's so hard to say goodbye. But nobody told me my hair was looking crazy. That's alright. That's alright. Cause some of y'all hair looking crazy. I see it. Look at her hair. Look at his hair. He need to go on and cut that off. Cause it ain't hair ain't growing right there. You know, go on and cut it all off. Instead of just leaving this around here and you got that right. Cut cut all that off. I don't know if anybody noticed. My my eyebrows was looking like werewolf eyebrows and stuff, but I did get them waxed before Christmas. So I was just like, you know what? I'm going to do something to my eyebrows. I'm going to get them right. Bridget Gaynor says, my hair is in Snoop Dogg plaits. Game Bro says, are you going to make a shirt? I just made some shirts. You done tuned in a little bit late. Valina B says, we love. Cynthia Shepard says, eyebrows look beautiful. Thank you. I'm glad nobody said nothing about them when they was looking werewolf-like and, um, mcdonald's arch like yeah they was looking crazy but i had uh been growing them out for a while because i went and got them done at a place and they like really messed up my eyebrows and they wasn't even the same so i was just like man Velina b says we love you i love y'all too and i appreciate y'all tuning in and making me feel special and stuff like that cynthia Shepard says, how do you put vinyl on a hoodie with a zipper? Um, you have to have a, what What will help you out is a pillow, a Teflon pillow. Let me see what my phone is on and I can, well it's on 18%. It'll let me move around a little bit, but not too much. But um, let me see. Like right here, this is a Teflon pillow and like uh, when you press down on it, it kind of, like if you have a button or something, you can even print on stuff with buttons and it kind of, uh, you know, it kind of gives so that everything is smooth and even. And you, you also, when you have a Teflon pillow, you have to adjust your pressure on your press. Yeah, that's what you do. That's what you do. You just use that Teflon pillow. You might be able to use a regular pillow too. I don't know. But, um, but if you made your own Teflon pillow, that might be a business to go into. I should have, while I had this unplugged, let me go ahead and turn off this thing over here. Have to flip the switch in there. Make sure my back door is locked. Even though I didn't go in it. Somebody might have been in here. Living it up. Make sure it's locked. And I'm look I'm going to pack up all these bags that I bring in here. Because when it's cold. I don't like to leave my cameras down here at the shop. I'm going to show y'all what I be looking like. Um, You would have to divide it. Like this is a. Uh, this is a embroidered thing right here but you you would have to divide it now um i got a video where i'm doing some baseball jerseys that might help you get a better idea on how to do it because i like had to cut it in in half and kind of center it where it would uh show right so if you watch that video about the baseball jerseys that should help you kind of figure out you know how to do it but yeah you um you wouldn't be able and see like this has a covered zipper like some of the 
hoodies and stuff have like an open zipper. It's not covered like this one is. So with this one, you could probably print it really close to the edges right here. But if it was an uncovered zipper, you would have to print, you know, print on either side or both sides of it and line it up as best you can. Let me see. But this right here, I have this. Let me get this out of here so I won't forget it. I forget it and have to come back for it all the time. I got this backpack right here. So I have this on my back. Then, see if I can back up a little bit. Then I have this right here. But before I have that, I have this right here. Then I have this right here. So this is how I am every day when I get ready to come to the shop. I'm just like packed up like this. In the winter time, now in the summertime I'll leave my camera here. So I'm packed up like a camel with all this stuff right here. All right, River Swamp Boat, thank you for tuning in. Um, I will cut it first, Cynthia Shepard. But if you if you watch that video, that'll kind of give you an idea of how to do it. I mean, that's the best advice I can give you is watching the video. But I will cut it first. And if you watch the video, it'll tell you why. Lipstick on my teeth says, I made naughty or nice heat transfer iron-ons for a return customer and it was so I was so nervous I forgot to mirror two of them I caught it right before I was about to deliver them that's good I look I have messed up before I have printed on the back of a shirt I mean on the front of a shirt something that was supposed to go on the back and because it was a repeat customer she she was like don't worry about it I, I'll take it like that and what I ended up doing was offering her a discount like I said, I'll, print, I'll let you get another shirt. I'll do like $5 off your next shirt or whatever. Because she ordered like a lot of individual shirts. But I'm about to have to get off of here. Because I don't have unlimited Wi-Fi. I mean unlimited internet on my phone. I, I'm on Wi-Fi right now. The lighting is not that good. Okay, that's better. That's better. But I don't have unlimited... So I can't be driving and all on my phone and stuff like that. So I'm going to have to get off of here. But I will holler at you guys later. Oh, that's sweet. Cynthia says she missed me already. I'm a, I'll am be back tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do another live stream tomorrow. And um, somebody was saying I should do one on New Year's. So I'll do one on New Year's. I need to get some videos filmed, some tutorials filmed. And get to working on doing this. Uh, thank you, Cynthia. Happy New Year to you too. But I need to get to working on doing some of this, um, um, what do you call it? I can't even think of what it's called. The process printing. So hopefully I can get that down. And y'all make sure y'all hit that thumbs up button because it helps the channel and it helps people find me. Because uh, this year I want it to be a big year where I can do more and give y'all more. I'm going to be doing giveaways each month on the 21st of each month. So by the 1st of the next month you ought to have your stuff and when you get your check on the first you ought to be able to go ahead and get to work i'm just playing with y'all i don't know when y'all get paid but i will be doing it on the 21st of each month and once i reach 10,000 subscribers i will be doing another big giveaway but i got all these heavy bags on my back and unless i want to hump on my back like a camel i'm gonna have to get on off of here so i can go get in the car and take this stuff off uh, Cynthia Shepard says, I want the dating disaster section. Look, I, I have to tell y'all about that one next. Um, I have, You can find me on Instagram and Twitter. At, um, Cynthia Shepard says, my welfare, <laughs> my welfare check do come in on first. You silly, Cynthia. Um, um, you said, do you have social media? My uh, social media is at T-Shirt Chick TV. At T-Shirt Chick TV. So, um, T-Shirt Chick TV, look me up on Instagram, Twitter. On Instagram, I just was able to log back in after I got a new phone, but I do try to answer you and stuff on there. So, 
that's really the best way to reach me. I'm not really on social media, but I try to get on Instagram a little bit. Yeah, thank you, Cynthia Shepard, at T-Shirt Chick TV. But I'm going to go ahead and get off of here, and I will... Yeah, that's it. But I'm going to get off of here, and I will holler at you guys next time. I'll see y'all uh, probably tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and do another live stream tomorrow. I don't have I don't have a life. I don't have anything else to do. So I'll see you guys tomorrow, I guess around the same time. See you later. See ya. Um, I will see you guys later. Prince Squad out.